You want to hear how sustainable we are in this house? We even thrift our own alcohol. Across the pond, her bedroom wall, from grace she will fall. Hello, hello, hello. I have not made a video close to a year now and I needed to release. I needed to be documented. I'm not trying to get famous. I think I just need therapy and that's what a diary is, right? To speak to ourselves and that's what I'm doing today. I'm speaking to myself and whoever else is watching. So welcome. I am in a completely new place in life new apartment, new city. I don't know. Brooklyn is New York, but I live in Brooklyn now. I work in Brooklyn now. I used to live in Manhattan. It's quite different, but that's where I am now. Within a year, I have moved to Brooklyn, started working in Brooklyn, have this new apartment, have a new roommate, have a new outlook on life. Um, but today, we're here because I also am trying to thrift a new wardrobe. I'm trying to get together a new vibe for 2023. I am out with the old, in with the new. So within trying to kind of change my style, not really change, but transition into a new type of style, we're going to get rid of stuff. We're going to get stuff. I'm trying to be more conscientious, conscientious, conscious, whatever, of not necessarily sustainability, but my wallet. <laughs> I don't want to keep buying new clothes. So a lot of what we're going to show today is thrifted. I do have some newer pieces, mind you, because I am still a shopaholic, but... A lot of what you're going to see today has been thrifted either through thrift stores or eBay. eBay is a girl's best friend. There is one Depop purchase in here. Um, I was not on Depop for a long time because I got banned and I have no idea why. Literally just tried logging on and they said no, no access. So what I did is, could be illegal. Got a new phone, got a new Depop. I'm back on Depop. It's not the same Depop. I'm gonna link my Depop below if you wanna, if you are interested in my style, my curation of things, check out my Depop. Because I would love to have people purchase things. I would. Ignore the messiness of this room. Um, I live day by day. I don't live for the long term. So that's why we are living in a state of chaos 24 seven, but the room is a mess, but the clothes are not. So why don't we start getting into some of the things that I have so you can see what the vibe is. Actually, before we get into the vibe, let's talk about the vibe. What are we feeling? It's cold, number one. It is December. My, I'm, oh, we are also two weeks away from my birthday. We are in December and I need warm clothes. But not only that, I just am really in love with knitwear right now. I'm really obsessed with layering, sweaters, knits, coziness, but not in a frumpy way, in a very colorful way. Um, I kind of want to put a picture of like some of my Pinterest boards that I've been pulling for inspiration. Um, Paloma Wool is a big inspiration for me right now. I've bought a few things. I'm waiting for it to arrive. But Paloma Wool is honestly the whole vibe we're going for. On a budget. Paloma Wool on a budget. I did have a chance to go to her pop-up shop in New York City. It is in Soho. If you're around, check it out. The girls are super nice. The clothes are obviously nice. Tried on a bunch of stuff. Ugh, in love. And I'm waiting for my stuff to come. Paloma, send it. Um, so that's the vibe. And then now I'm going to show you how I'm trying to get this vibe on a budget. One other thing before we get started, along with going for the knits, the wool, the coziness, 
I'm trying to knit. I'm trying to learn to knit. I know how to sew. I've tried to crochet before. It did not work out well. Um, I got very overwhelmed by crocheting, but knitting has been very peaceful for me. So I just want to quickly show within two days of learning how to knit what I've been working on. You might see behind me. This is my super chunky scarf that I'm working on. Um, I mean, beginner knitter, baby knitter here. We're going to go for scarves. I'm not going to make you a cardigan right away, but I might make you something nice and warm for your neck. Um, this yarn, my roommate gave to me. Very sweet of her. It's acrylic, but it was perfect for the loom. So I'm on two projects right now. I'm trying to loom knit because I thought it would be easier and quicker and it has been. So this is the loom knit scarf we're working on. We're gonna keep going until it's a scarf length. But the real prize here is the needle knit. I'm using this gorgeous marled yarn. It's only five bucks at Michael's. I think it has 5% wool, which is pretty good for a Michael's yarn. And we have a little baby, baby scarf going. Um check back in a month to see if it's done because this bitch is taking me forever and I've only gotten this much done but I like this one more it just takes more effort I really enjoy knitting I really want to get one of those automatic knitters I think it's called a centro machine and just whip out shit um my birthday's coming up remember that so if you want to get me a knitting machine so I can continue making quality products for the world top of my list and if you see me taking sips of this between showing clothes it's because it's night and a girl's gotta relax a bit mm. all right let's get started so the first pile of things that i'm about to show you are more recent um they're all second hand i'll just pull out the first piece why don't i this is a sweater that i got off of depop I was really excited because the girl who was selling it was from my hometown. California is better than New York. Um, and she was selling this Unif sweater. It's called the Summer Sweater. I paid a pretty penny on this, but it was worth it. It's still available on Unif, and I got it at a discount, I would say, in second hand. So this bad gal from Depop. Okay. This rest of this pile is all going to be from eBay. Is it tacky to say how much you bought something? I just want to give you guys a good idea of like the budget I'm on. So we'll start with this. This is from eBay. It is a Fior Blue. I don't know that brand, but it is this nice little short sleeve sweater. Um, I got this only for $10 and it's gorgeous. It's definitely the vibe I'm going for. Colorful stripy knits. It has some detailing on the back and the front. Miss Mullet. Yeah, I can't wait to wear her. Okay, the next one you might not get right away. There's a backstory to this one. I'm gonna show a pin right here that I pinned on Pinterest. And I really wanted this item, couldn't find it. So I looked up matching scarf sweaters on ebay i didn't quite get that but i did get matching sets so work with me here found a good colorway didn't love the silhouette i'm gonna try and rework it the scarf and the sweater ten dollars so what i'm thinking to get it more like the pin that i pinned i'm gonna alter the neckline so it's more like this maybe crop it a bit take it up some literally two things you take it to my sewing machine make my little dream pin i think it would be so cute i don't love the collar i think i want like a unfinished hem here no ribbing collar and we're gonna have that pin it's not exactly the same i know but the inspiration is there innovation that is what creativity is. <laughs> I hope. 
So the next one was really inspired by um, my friend Ali has this really great jacket that I love. It's like a suede jacket with some fur-ish trimming. And I found a mud jacket for about $15 on eBay. Outer suede detail fur. I think it's so cute. I haven't I haven't worn most of this yet. I'm really excited to see how I'm gonna style it. But I see outfits in the future. I I see a look. Oh her arm. So this will be a great layering piece. Um, I don't know how warm it's going to keep me. Um, if I walk out and I get hypothermia with this, maybe a bad purchase, but let's hope that's not the case. The next one was a bit of a struggle. It was a bit of an eBay war, if you might. So, I'm broke. I'm cheap right now. The seller had this next item up for $12. I do not want to just pay. I want to offer. I want to see if I can get a few dollars off because that dollar or two is going to be a Diet Coke in the future. So I offered eight. They said no. My ego was like, fuck that. I'm not getting this cardigan. If they're saying no, then that's a no on them. But then I kept looking at it and I really, really wanted it. Went back with nine. They said no again. I'm like, damn, am I just being a cheapskate or what? I'm going to try one more time. Waited two days. I gave my ego two days. Offered $10. I got it. So $10 got me this. And it's kind of hard to show because it's a long, loose cardigan. Um, maybe I'll show a picture that was on the eBay listing. But it is purple-ish, kind of taupey. And it's long, has a hood. And yeah, it's mud. Got this for $10, won my eBay war. The ego was a little deflated, but it could inflate again. The next one was a local purchase. And I'm really, really, really happy I got this. I've worn it a few times already. Um, I got it from Housing Works. Housing Works, hit or miss, a little pricey, but this is a one of a kind. I don't even know the brand. That's how special it is. Look at that little collar. That is couture right there. Where have you seen a collar like this? On top of the stripes. Very colorful. Um, she's a classic. I'm really excited to have gotten her. I've worn her already. I wore her too. I went to Hotel Chelsea. They, it, it was a while ago now. They opened up their restaurant. I don't know the name. The food suck. The drinks also suck. But it's Hotel Chelsea. It's a one of a kind experience. You want to hear how sustainable we are in this house? We even thrift our own alcohol. This bottle was given to me secondhand. It is bourbon. Backstory for this. The new job I work at, which is really cute, um, they have a little bar within the location. Not drinkable. Do not ask me for a shot if you come into my store. But because we have to maintain the appearance of the bar, we got rid of a bunch of bottles and we replaced them with prettier bottles. But that means I got to take home this gently loved bottle of bourbon. And let me tell you, I had one glass of this bourbon and it knocked me the fuck out. I didn't get drunk. I didn't get a little serotonin boost. I just got sleepy. So we love a good thrifted t-shirt. We love a good thrifted sweater, but we also love a good thrifted bottle of bourbon. Getting back to the topic on hand, I forgot to mention this sweater was thrifted. This gorgeous V ombre gradient yarn sweater. Um, I got it for $15 at L Train Vintage and I've worn it for three days in a row. I have showered, believe me there. But I just can't take it off. It is so cute. I actually haven't worn it for three days in a row. Okay. 
So we're going to get into, we're going to break up the monotony of used clothes and get into um, some clothes that I had to buy brand new and that's okay. So we are going to start with these Unif Flex shoes that are my pride and joy right now. I love them so much. I bought them, love them. The one thing that I don't like about them is I think it might be taking my big toenail off. Um, if you find a big toenail in New York City, it's mine and it is because of these shoes. They hurt like a bitch. But I'm used to putting myself in pain for fashion. So these don't help. An absolute need. Um, not necessarily new, but something that's coming back in rotation my little brandy melville brown sweater vest with the color palette and the items that i'm going for right now she's going to be a great layering piece thank you mr brandy and thank you for your olive oil not opened my olive oil from brandy melville yet i've bought in two bottles and they just sit within my kitchen as decoration pieces she's a treasure i can't open her next newer item these oh her fly is undone let me zip her up and it is my pair of unif brown corduroys very lovely she goes with everything i could be wearing her right now she is a little lower waisted a little wide legged a little baggy but that's the vibe right now i apologize i am having to um correct some mistakes and button up the next piece because she needs to be presented in her full glory but my mind well my mind is thinking 24 7 and while i button this piece i am thinking about fiona apple and how it is literally fiona apple fall winter i don't go a day within november or december without thinking of fiona apple or playing a song by her so yeah Please pay your respects this winter to Miss Apple. And in record time, the award for fastest button upper goes to moi. So I can show you this brand new Realization Par cardigan. It is in this lovely, lovely green. I wore this on Thanksgiving. I posted a picture. Go check it out. Um, Realization Par released this Winona cardigan in three colors, and I think I need them all. So, if you are keeping tally for the birthday wish list here, mind you, December 18th, Centro Knitting Machine, Realization Par cardigan in the brown and black color. We have the green. I need the two other ones. I really do. It's a great cardigan. And now, we are going to move on to the last little pile that we have it's a big pile but the last pile we have all from l train vintage if you have not been to l train vintage because you don't live in new york well you don't live in new york but if you live in new york and you haven't been go if you live in new york you probably have been anyways i went to urban jungle which is the really really big one not curated just a bunch of cheap shit and i was there for two to three hours looking through treasure and i found gold i did why don't we show you what i found of course we have a bag within a bag hashtag l train vintage follow them on their socials really quickly because i had a little brain fart um Glossier is in Brooklyn right now. This full face right now is Glossier. If you live in Brooklyn, please go to the Glossier store. It is right across from where I work. So if you see me, say hi. Um, it's super cute. I'm so happy that there is a physical store that I can go to. It's going to be in Sephora next year, but I'd rather shop at Miss Glossier herself. And I'm really excited for that. I'm sorry, I just had that thought pop in my head we'll get back onto l train okay miss l train we'll start with this little oh 
vest. Inner lining, nice, wooly, soft. Outer cuteness, um, brown. She's great for putting over a nice, long sleeve, thin t-shirt. And she just gives me little fall hunterman vibes. I feel like I am in the little house on the prairie when I wear this. Or, what's his name? The talk, Paul Bunyan. And Babe the Ox. The next one I got just for my mother because growing up, my mom, she instilled a love of Scooby-Doo within me because she loves Scooby-Doo and therefore I love Scooby-Doo. And when I saw this, I said, do I need it? And yeah, I needed it. I, I feel like it can work as a stylish piece. I feel like if I throw on a cute pair of black pants, some dressy shoes, like, I can go to Carbone in this. I'm gonna wear her to a fancy dinner. I'm gonna order a glass of red wine and I'm gonna say, drink up, Scooby. The next one still has the tag on it. That's how you know I haven't worn it. It is this really, really pretty green. It is a outer jacket. Not a blazer. I don't know. It is a little stiffer, but it was only $8. And it is an L.L. Bean jacket. I just really love this color. I think it would work with the color palette I'm going for. I'm really into the earthy neutrals. I think it goes. So, yeah, a little classier moment from Mrs. Bean. When I was at L Train... You can tell me if I made a mistake or not. You can please be honest with me. I did see a Gautier Kids cardigan. I think I have a picture. Wasn't my vibe. It could have fit. It was $8. I said no. And I left it there for somebody else. And I think I made the right decision. But I also think I could have made the wrong decision just because like who passes up Gautier at an eight dollar price point but it was Gautier Kids and it was kind of ugly but I, I think about her from time to time. The next one I am not in love with. This is a stripey moment. It's a loosey goosey knit v-neck. The thought I had when I got this was I'll put on like a white tank top under or a t-shirt, have a little cute layering moment. It feels very mall the more I look at it. And it is mall. It's American Eagle. And I thought I could make it a little more vibey, but the more I've thought about her, I think of mall. And I'm not trying to go for mall. I have not been to a mall in a while now and I don't think I want to go back but we'll try it we'll, we'll try it and if it doesn't work hopefully she finds a home hopefully she won't be um orphaned guys this is the last piece of this thrifting a new wardrobe a new vibe thrifting a new life um this last piece may be the best piece if you're here with me so, this last piece had me in my Bella Hadid bag. When I saw this, I'm like, Miss Bella Hadid would definitely wear this. It just gave me her. So why don't I show it? You can tell me if you agree or not. This little button up. I don't know why it's looking blue on the camera, but those stripes are definitely black. I feel like this is very Miss Hadid. I feel like if me and Bella were at the thrift store at the same rack and she pulled that, I would have fought her for that. I would have snatched that shirt from her hands, this cute little button up, and said, Bella, another day. I feel like this is Bella. If it's not Bella, it's me, because I'm going to wear the shit out of that one. It is adorable. I love the button up. I love the stripes. I love the colors. I haven't worn it yet, but it's going to be worn regardless. And for now, my beautiful people, friends, haters, whatever, that brings us to the end of this video. Um, hopefully you 
got a good idea of what I am trying to bring myself into in the new year. Um, the pieces I have collected for now is definitely a transition of style. I'm trying to be out with the old, especially transitioning into a new job. Your wardrobe is going to change, especially if the vibes are different. And the vibes are very different. The pay is different as well, which we love. But um, the wardrobe has to change. And I just think a mind frame has changed as well. I'm trying to be a little more neutral, a little more faithful in how I purchase things. Obviously, we're human. We cannot get away with getting everything secondhand. But trying to get more secondhand stuff into my closet. Um, but thanks for checking in again with me a year later. Um, I know I'm not consistent on posting, so you probably don't know who I am. But if you do know who I am, nice to see you again. Can't promise consistency. I will say I am in my Martha Stewart bag. I have been cooking a lot lately, some homemade food. I have been buying flowers for my vases. And I'd love to like to show some daily life stuff, whether it be making a little cute salad or picking a bouquet and showcasing that. So if you're interested at all, let me know. Or follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of shit on my stories that people probably don't give a fuck about. But it's my platform, my diary. Exit if you don't want to see. So if you are intrigued by anything you see today, whether it be the personality, the wardrobe, the face... There is an Instagram that's going to be linked below. There will be a Pinterest link below for inspiration. There will be a Depop below. A new Depop. Not the old Depop that I got banned from. But a new Depop where we're getting rid of some stuff. But maybe it will find its way into your home. So, again, thanks for spending a little wine night with me going through some new clothes. Um... Hope to see you again soon.